What's up, cave people? What's going on? Welcome to the Caveman Show. Your host, Caveman. Ah, ah, ah. What's going on, guys? I'm just bringing to get load in. It looks like it's about to. Um, just giving you the heads up. I know you guys are waiting for uh, Back for Blood. Me and Dark Heart were trying to pass that level. We keep losing and everything. We're at this close. That close. We even have other people, other players to help us out. And it, it was just, I can't give you a video when we keep losing and losing and losing. You know, and if it's the same type of level, no. Nah. So, yeah. Alright, uh, like usual, you're not going to see me, but you will hear me. Alright. Alright, we're going to go to the main... Alright guys, we just I see bandits. Oh, and a lot of bodies. Sophie, I'm sorry. I knew it. I knew those motherfuckers would betray us. Fuck them, Aiden. Kill them all. Alright, let's do it. Survivors. Fucking animals. Find the crystals. Susie had them. Susie? Carl. They, they took Carl. What? Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must. Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Oh, Sophie, like I found Susie. Her. She's dead. I can't believe it. First birdie, now her. Damn. Damn. Damn! There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. Oh, fuck. Holy crap. Oh, shit. Ugly motherfucker. He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. Really? Always the last one. 
Holy crap. Sophie, everything's been taken. Probably took him before you got there. Everything has gone wrong. All right. Enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. All right, we got the new mission. We're gonna go there. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned, they took Carl hostage. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious, but if you can do it, Ato will. Ato, what? Hey, Herman. Where's Sophie? Hey, why are you on the mission? Friends could have used you. <clears throat> okay. Well, I guess that means I should wait here. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, I'll take some sunshine. Oh, God. Please don't tell me this is a night job. turn to a creature. Jack and... I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked. And yet I let him lead. Did you send Herman? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. He's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. Has been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, he's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me, or I'm watching over him. That's why. Okay. Maybe it's... You think Jack and Joe could have had something to do with Lucas's murder? Joe, perhaps. He's a total psycho and a thief. He knew the peacekeepers would hang him if they caught him. But Jack wouldn't let him. He's a coward. He thinks rationally. 
Mm. Don't beat yourself up. Things could have been worse, too. If I had listened to myself, we'd have water, and more of our people would still be alive. You were just doing your job. You were following Carl's lead. Yeah, but I won't let him lead the bazaar to its doom. I think I Carl see. is the, the messed up one. That's what I think. I don't trust Carl. All right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass. But we'll pain do something ass. good for the city the one day. To your help. Tell me more about. I gather you were close with Bertie. He tried to be a poet, kept showing me his work, and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand. I never told him how bad it was. He was a good kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. He was 10 years old. That's pretty young. Too young. Yeah. But he had no one else. So I took him in. That's why. Okay. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. Do you think killing Monsieur Cock and Cunt will change something? <laughs> Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone funny. after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Tour here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. Okay, so I'll now. I'll tear them apart. No, I, I swear. Gotta, uh... I'll gut them. Real uh... slow. He's right piece there. by piece. Yeah. I was not gonna make it. Sorry, I had like a tune in my head. Goddamn coyotes. <laughs> what do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. Really? Why will that be a problem? That doesn't seem like it. They seem happy to take whatever help is offered. So they say. But those people hate us, Aiden. Along with anyone who works with us. So if they do suspect, especially someone like Sophie, I can handle them. Lucas thought so too, and look how he ended up. Be a pity if I found you in a ditch somewhere. With a piece of your hide cut out. Ouch. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. 
She blames us for not helping the bazaar and for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Go help Sophie, but be careful, Hayden. Like Sophie's not here. I think I better we must look for her. Must be Dad, it's still there. Oh, the songs I'm gonna write about you. If you lost something, <laughs> you won't find it here. <coughs> okay, so basically we have to find Around find where Pilgrim that Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh yes, she went uh, she said uh, uh she went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Wait! Wow, one shot. There's more. One more thing. Something's wrong with uh, not working with the... Uh, it's broken. That... Uh, oh. Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden? How do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo, why, what do you, why would you, Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious, will you tell me, Aiden? I'm not that exciting, I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer, all being a pilgrim is to me now, is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone. To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet, but I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found like Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids because of those fucking tests. I hope he's alive, and that you find him someday. Okay. All right, now let's talk to her. She's... Oh, the songs right I'm gonna write about you. I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan. I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! To your health! I 
love you. What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We'd been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. They led me to her. To the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. Uh. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand, my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? Hmm. <laughs> about my sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. I don't like you. We started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? I'm gonna stab you. <laughs> Uh, I, I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. come to lurk or help apparently the peacekeepers are watching us well, let them see what happens to Jack and Joe and that we can do it to them too well you said it was time to act we're acting I sent three scouts towards the camp Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building So this is basically a bandit camp. Not many guards. Most are probably asleep. There are a few entrances to the camp. The front one, suicide. It's got the most guards. You go in first, we'll move in from the other side. And then we'll catch them in a pincer movement. If anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Where? The Tango Motel. Great. So they want me to go. That's uh, just freaking great. Don't need those, don't need those. Technically none of these I don't need. Alright guys, let's do this. 
I'm gonna regret it. Alright, so it's gonna be stealth all the way through. Change of plans, Aiden. They attacked our safe house. Who? Sophie? You have my men there. Find Carl. Save him and get our crystals. Fast. I'll do what I can. Let's find a gate entrance first. There he is. <laughs> Hang on. Wait a second. I don't remember that. Do you? What's he doing here? You see that piece of shit? Where there was something he well smile you son of a bitch. Oh shit. Got you now. Oh well. So I just got all these guys already. No one's a wait. Get the flag down.
Okay. He just claimed this? Alright. We just got a cheese in and we just claim a uh, campsite. It's ours now. Pilgrim in the bazaar? <laughs> if I were him. Bravo, Pilgrim. The Greenwood family. Any time of day. Remember, Pilgrim. Pilgrim. Where's everyone else? They were attacked. Where are the crystals? Over there. Radio Sophie. Fast. Sophie? I have Carl. He's okay. What about you guys? Sophie? Sophie? Are you there? You have to help the maiden. Where should I go? Tango Motel. Sophie's hideout is there. Run! Fast! Go now. No time to waste. Sometimes I wake up at night and forget the fall even happened. That's about the only time I see. I remember this place. Thank God, me and my uh, pal, Darkheart, got container some of the uh, <laughs> ladders down. Just in case. It No, it didn't. My heart. There we go. Best way to do it. And just go to here, just in case you fall. I know there's a uh, ladder somewhere around here. Right here. There we go. Just in case. Ooh, I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. Seriously. Hey then. I heard some noises coming from Jack and Joe's little village. That's not all, Hakon. Sophie and Barney's hideout was attacked. It could be peacekeepers. Fuck. Remember what you're here for, Aiden. We were supposed to get into the central loop and not get involved in local conflicts. Don't get involved in this. Go back to the metro. We will share what we have with Aitor. And maybe he will let us pass. I have to go, Hakon. I promise to help Sophie. Besides, that's the only way to get to the truth. Okay. I'll be in touch. Inhibitor container nearby. Yeah, I'm saying inhibitor container nearby. Alright, let's do this, guys. I'm too late. Sophie! Barney! You there? Sophie? God, Sophie, report in. No, I gotta wear 
work. Go guys. Just gonna go up just a little bit more. Container's right there, guys. You can't even get it. Let's do this. Sophie, what the hell is going on? Report in. Not working. So we might we have to go back. See that's the reason why we put those ladders down. Just in case this happens. There we go. All right. All right, guys. Now let's use this. Okay, uh, we're gonna do life. So right now our life is 200. <laughs> This is Aiden. Your men are dead. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it, Aiden. I was actually starting to like you. You brought the peacekeepers here. I helped you. You betrayed us. And now we have to kill you. Helped Aitor and yourself. Helping us was just a byproduct. What are you waiting for? Don't know what to do? My party! Barney, wait! Oh, Barney, you're dead. I I'm gonna be so happy. I wanna kill this guy. Get ready for this? Here I come! Have this motherfucker. I got this for you, you piece of shit. How you like this, jackass? So, so better. Sorry. I don't give mercy. Alright, let's get a new weapon. Just in case. Fuck. 
you. Figures. Great. I'm looking for Sophie. Holy crap. Sophie! Damn it, this isn't about you, Herman. Get out of my way! Fucking grizzly. Come on. I don't really look like you, Herman. You are a nice guy. Herman, give it up. Let me talk to Sophie. Oh shit, I'm gonna get killed. No, I got killed. All right, respawn. All right, no, sorry. I see we cannot kill him. Or I just electrified myself. Yeah, I just basically electrified electrified myself. Fuck that. Shut up. Catch! Always where you need me, huh? Kid, fine. Where did you come from? I've got a sixth sense, kid. I knew you were gonna get in trouble. Barney wanted to kill you. It means he has something to hide. Something about Lucas, or worse. What do you mean? The murder of the commander. Now the takeover of the water tower. That's no coincidence, Aiden. Barney has long been looking to get out from behind his sister's shadow and rid Villador of the peacekeepers himself. I'll try to find him. Be careful. I'll go warn Eto. Let's keep in touch. All right, guys. It looks like we're basically done for today. And, uh, yeah. Let's uh, recap, guys. Basically, everything was, went to the shit. Uh, we killed the big juggernaut. We died a couple of times. And I killed myself. It electrified. Damn, and now we have to go to the water tower. Tower. Oh well. So, take care, guys. Have fun. Always remember. Always be a caveman. See you guys. Peace. Uka chaka, uka, uka, uka chaka, uka, uka, uka chaka.